Hello everyone, Frank the Tank here. Today I want to show you a aftermarket part for Canik TP9 series. This is Taylor Freelance mag extension base plate, especially made for Canik TP9 series. If you shoot competition with Canik product, this is the product for you. Okay, why I want to say that because the company claimed that this base plate is legal for USPSA slash three gun competition. And it comes with a nice packaging like this, a bag with the base plate with a beautiful logo right there. And then when you turn back, it will show you the instruction. How do you put the base plate on? That is really neat. Let's open up this product right here. Let's put this on the side. This is the base plate looks like. This is an aluminum, raw aluminum. Got a TF engraving over here for, stands for Taylor Freelance. And you will see this is a beautiful aluminum. They do really well the machining. I am impressed. And also inside tell you, it tells you this is for a Canik TP9 as well. So you will see the date, it's November 2017. I think that's just a, a lot number, but it looks really, really nice. Okay. Um, some people will might ask, well, what about what about the base play you're talking about? Terran Tactical one, what, what, what happened with that? Well, to be honest, the first video I made for the Canik TP9 base plate. At that time, they don't really have a real Canik parts on the market. So yes, this product is made by Terran Tactical and it is, it, it will fit on the magazine itself. It will fit on, it will fit on the SFX. It will fit on the SF or whatever Canik you have. Uh, the problem is on the Ter Terran Tactical one is it's not compliant. I want to make a correction on that. I'm sorry. On the first video, I said it will it is compliant with the 140 millimeters competition, but it turns out it's not. I had an experience on this one. It is a great product. I'm not gonna lie. This is a great product. And it is for CZ75 or TP9 series. So when I put it on, it fits, but I learned an experience at a major competition match this summer. I I didn't know, I thought it should just use a Lular, it's fine, but turns out there's a thing called the Mac gauge, okay? This is the competition mat gauge, and it's also an official USPSA mat gauge for competition. On this side, you will see it says 141.25 millimeters. Okay, every magazine that you shoot has to be compliant in this length. And I was like, okay, let me do that. And turns out when it when I put it in. It looks fit, but when you look closer, right there, it's not exactly 100% fit. That tells you that this base plate is too long. And the rule on the mat gauge says that you need to put it in without any outer force to fit everything in. So that makes you, you need to fix the magazine. You need to fix the base plate. So what I did is I use a file, use, <laughs> I use a file to shave off at least um, 0.5 millimeters, I think. Okay, as you can see, I shave off a little bit, a lot actually, to make sure I fit the magazine mat gauge so I can continue my competition. Otherwise, I will be just going home on the same day. So that's what I did um, for several months and Taylor Freelance announced that they're going to make a product for Canik tp Nice SFX. This is the one I installed right here. It fits 
perfectly on the mat gauge without any force. Do you see that? Without any force, that is completely fit and also compliant with the competition. So for those people shoot competition out there, this is the right product that will fit and it is for you. I'm so excited about this product. So I have it from, from then. They're so generous and willing to send it to me, um, some base plate to test it out. They are going to come out with different colors for sure. Right now, this is a raw aluminum. This is still a prototype and also people can buy it right now. They're going to come out with an anodized black and also anodized red. I tested it out and it also, just like it says, it's a plus four base plate. So that means on your 18, um, on your 18 round magazine that you buy from Canik or other, other website, it will plus four and makes your gun 22 round. Okay. Every magazine that the Canik pro pro uh, provides the 18 round, either the 18 round or the 20 round, they share the same body. Okay. That means this magazine, no matter it's a 20 round, 20 round stock magazine or the 18 round stock magazine, they share the same body. So once you popped out the base plate, you put this on, everything will become a 22 round magazine capacity. The good thing is on this one, it's also really cheap. It's about $29.95. I need to check that. Uh, it's $29.95. This is about 30 something dollars. So if you think about the price, this is a steal. Um, the, the pros on the Terran Tactical, even though it's for CZ75, it is their design, the takedown pin. I think it's a really, really good design. Uh, you can fill strip your magazine super easy. Um, the pro, uh, the pros is they use a really, really good, uh, they use a screw to secure the magazine, but it's not as easy to take it down. If you want to do a, a fail strip, your magazine. Um, so the, the down part on this one is I tried to use an industry standard Allen wrench and I cannot find, um, anything that will fit this size of the the screw so i think that's a down part so i need to, i have to use um what i have which is this is flat head right there finally find it i can um twist the the screw for recreational shooters this will be fine for you to use uh, because this is still a plus four plate but if you're exclusive competition shooters i will say taylor freelance is uh, the one for you so that's everything today so make sure to check out the website which www.taylorfreelance.com and you will see more information on that again if you like this video you can like and share this video to those people that they, they might need a magazine extension base plate also, please subscribe my channel to, for more videos to come. And I hope everybody should save on the range and I will see you guys next time.